Throughout my 15-year career in software development, one rule has always held true. Good code comes from keeping concerns separate. It's always easier to build and maintain small, focused software layers that do one job well, rather than ending up with a tangled mess of spaghetti code where everything depends on everything else. But, according to some recent trends in the industry we'll discuss in detail in a second, it seems like this is no longer the case. By the looks of it, key ideas like the separation of concerns or the single responsibility principles, which shaped the way we wrote software for the past decades, are now obsolete. Instead, we're seeing a shift where convenience, speed and developer experience often take priority over traditional best practices. This might sound like a great idea at first, especially now when developer performance and efficiency are under scrutiny due to the apparent inevitable supremacy of AI agents. But I'm afraid we might be digging our own grave by prioritizing short-term gains over long-term sustainability. Let me explain. Before we dive into the details, I need to make a few disclaimers. These are my opinions, shaped by over 15 years of building software products. Just because I disagree with some of the current trends doesn't mean I don't appreciate the work of contributors or the value their tools bring to many developers. If it helps, feel free to bash me in the comments or just think of me as the grumpy old man who's too stubborn to embrace the modern future. This video was inspired by a Laravel news article I read a few days ago. The title alone would probably terrify entire generations of developers. Write PHP inside Vue and React components. Scrolling down, the sales pitch makes things even more concerning. No routes, no controllers, just instant backend to frontend magic in your Laravel app. I don't have anything against Laravel. On the contrary, I believe it's one of the most well-designed and developer-friendly frameworks out there. However, I do have a problem with the word magic and the implication of using magic features in software products. If you've ever worked on a large project with real concerns like performance at scale, high levels of customization, coordinating large teams of developers, and maintaining long-term code quality, you know that magic is just another word for hidden complexity. And hidden complexity always comes back to bite you. More often than not, you'll end up rewriting all that magic for performance or customization reasons. I started web development back when Java Server Faces was the go-to solution to build enterprise software in Java. JSF was a hot pile of garbage. JSF was a component-based framework which was trying to handle everything from routing to backend state management or UI rendering, all through the magic of Java and asynchronous calls. No JavaScript code required. On paper, this sounded great, but in reality, it was a bloated over-engineered mess that made debugging a nightmare and performance optimizations nearly impossible. This is why Java developers gradually migrated towards more independent and flexible solutions like Spring MVC and to architectures that enforce stricter separation of concerns. Back to the article, today I'm reading about new libraries hyping the same selling points that were proven unsustainable over 15 years ago. Mixing languages in a single file is now seen as an advantage and abstracting away server-client communication is supposed to improve developer experience. But, funny enough, the industry has been dealing with well-known problems for over 20 years precisely because we abstract away communication between layers. To be fair, this trend is being adopted in other ecosystems as well. React server components blur the line between server and client code and the whole meta framework movement in web development is pushing for deeper integration between the backend and the frontend which exchange information in magic ways. There is no wonder web developers are disconnected and people who start development in these high-level projects where all the complexity is abstracted away have no idea what actually happens under the hood. I agree some abstraction can be beneficial, especially for rapid prototyping or small teams that don't want to manage boilerplate. However, we all should fully understand the consequences and the hidden cost behind using abstractions. Maybe I'm old school or just tired of dealing with projects where dev tools did more harm than good in the long term, but I believe software development is hard enough without us making things worse with unnecessary complexity. If you like this video, you might find some of these ones interesting as well. Until next time, thank you for watching.